Hi everyone, Alex, addict and alcoholic here and competitive bodybuilder um, competing at IDFA Universe next Saturday, December 11th. Why am I competing? For me, it's very easy. Um, bodybuilding, you know, I get asked often if it's integral to my recovery, it's actually intrinsic for me. I work a trifecta program. My daily reprieve is contingent upon not only my spiritual maintenance, but my physical and mental maintenance as well. So it's about doing the mental exercise, the spiritual exercise, and the physical exercise on the daily. Um, this year has proven a difficult year. I was in a deep depressive state this winter, pulled myself out of it. Here we are gearing up for a pro card run, but it was more about going pro found again to grow pro. Hi, my name is Angus. I'm competing at the IDF Universe because I wanted to test my limits on how far I can push myself. I'm also a personal trainer and I wanted to experience what a bodybuilder goes through so I could better influence my clients who are interested in this type of training. I hope to motivate and inspire anyone who is interested in transforming to live a healthier lifestyle. I'm looking forward to this competition and good luck to everyone. Hi, my name is Fowler and I'm competing at the IDFA Universe because I want to show myself that I have discipline to do any goal I set my mind to. I also decided to compete as I want to improve my physique. Without the IDFA in general, I want to be motivated to reach my goals. Doing these shows make me more healthy mentally and physically, and it motivates me to work hard and do the best I can to make myself better. If I win my division, that's great, I'm happy, but if I don't, that's completely okay, knowing that I've worked hard for my physique and my goals. I'm also building a better lifestyle and each and every time I compete. Winning isn't everything to me, and I'm going to end this explanation off by being very cheesy and cliche, but uh, if I complete a goal or finish something, that I want my eyes. So I would like to thank everyone who has supported me and helped me through this, this past year, and I will always work hard for my goals and be thankful for the ones I have crushed. So thank you. Hi, I competing for EDFO because a long time I want to be in good shape. And I'm younger, I do sometimes training myself and I'm stopping. Uh, I'm not focused on my training and every time I stop. Now um, I see my trainer, my trainer called Alabar, say to me if I want to do uh, bodybuilding and uh, men physique uh, for EDFA. And I say to him, yes, why not? I stop at smoke, uh, smoking and after then I stop uh, do smoke weed and I training hard myself and I do uh, good training with my trainer for uh, three years for now. I do my first uh, time uh, competition for well, EDFA October 2020 um, and after then I do May 2021 and now I will do my um, December, my three time for um, competition. And I do uh, bodybuilding and men physique. And I don't want to stop because I am a 20, 26 years old now. And I don't stop because I have a two young girl and I want uh, she see me in good shape and I want to be a shape for her and for me. And I don't want to stop for EDFA competition. Now I'm training so hard to do a good shape and I don't stop, that's now my drug, is my physique, my food, my training, all time I pass on the gym and I'm very happy for that. That is good for me. I focused for this. Thank you so much, DFA, for the competition you do. Hi, my name is Genevieve, and I'm competing in the IDFA universe because I love the challenge of bettering myself. I want to connect with other like-minded people. 
who are always trying to improve themselves every day. Hi guys, James Paquette here. Thanks to the IDFA for putting this on. This one is a big challenge for me because I have no access to a gym right now. We're traveling and we're down south in Colombia. And well, it's been a heck of a challenge. I have a food scale and body weight exercise, a few bands and that's it. A few things I picked up along the way that are <laughs> can fit in my knapsack and parks. I'm actually literally doing a gazillion push-ups and handstand stuff on the wall shoulder presses, all that kind of stuff. So do whatever I can to, well, to make this challenge work for me. You know, it's all about accountability and and uh, and I thank Sean for putting this on. I mean, I can't be there in Canada and I mean, you can't even go to a venue nowadays without getting a, a jab anyway. So for me, it's like, I'm natural. I love what I do. I am in a low risk category, even despite my age of 51. So I'm not worried about that. So we are out tour in the world right now uh, in South America and it's great but it has its lacking with the gym stuff so it's a challenge I'm here thank you for doing that for all of us and uh, keeping us accountable and keeping us motivated too like you know your motivation comes from within but it's nice to see and and uh, hear of other people's successes and how they push each other and make their life better and healthier to me that's freaking awesome so you do you i'll do me and uh, that's how it works and uh, well anyways good luck to all the competitors and well i might get my ass kicked this time because it's way different but who knows it doesn't matter to me it doesn't matter it's more hey you know what we did we do what we all do our thing and uh this is a new one for me it's a big challenge hopefully i'll get a gym soon and get back at it uh hardcore but for now it is what it is so have an awesome time in the show and we look forward to the results thanks again sean hello my name is jennifer ventura and I am competing in the IDFA online show on December 11th in the transformation category because I've had a transformation and it's time to take a moment and pause and celebrate and acknowledge that we need to do that more often. I know I need to do that more often. Two years ago, I slipped on a patch of ice and broke my leg. That was a really hard challenge and I continue to, to find meaning in it. And what I've done in the last two years and since the pandemic as well, I've really evaluated what is important, how can I look at things differently, where's my mind and everything, how can I come back to what I know is true, what has helped me in the past, rely on myself as well as reach out for help. I wouldn't have been able to successfully learn to walk, learn to run, get stronger in my mind and my body, come back to a practice that I love, which incorporates bodybuilding, without my BFFs, without the community and the people who have helped raise me up. And that's what, that's what motivated me the most throughout this process of rebuilding and recovering my physical body, my mental and emotional states, as well as my business and lifestyle is, is about the people. And how can I be a part of what is the greater whole here? So I needed to take care of myself. I needed to push through and it was not so fun and really keep going. And I think that's what I give the main purpose to my training today is that I keep going despite the obstacles and challenges and I have a desire to to keep going. Thank you. Okay. Hi, my name is Karine Belanger. I'm from Rimouski, Quebec, Canada. And I'm 35 years old uh, and it's my first competition, so uh, I'm very excited and uh, proud to be part of this 
adventure. Uh, so first, excuse me for my bad English. Uh, I write on the sheet uh, my text to be sure to not forget nothing. So uh, my why. Um, I decided to compete with IDFA because uh, last year I needed to challenge my, myself and take care about myself, my mind, uh, my body. So uh, I began my fitness journey and more and more I literally fell in love with bodybuilding. Uh, I was so happy to have found a true passion, uh, a lifestyle uh, who, um, who was perfect for me. So uh, it made, it's made me uh, growing so much mentally and physically. Uh, so I decided to push myself into a competition. And um, IDFA is a great federation with beautiful values. Uh, who will join mine. So I'm very excited and proud to make part of this wonderful family and team uh, of natural athletes. So uh, thank you so much for your support and uh, this opportunity you gave to me to achieve my goals. So thank you. Hi, my name is Maya Vanderbollen and I'm competing in the IDFA Universe competition because I wanted my confidence back. I wanted to prove to myself that I can do it and I wanted to feel comfortable in my body again. So working towards this competition has been a really great way of doing that and I've really enjoyed it. Hello to everyone, I'm Patrizia, I'm 48 years old and I'm Italian. I live in a city near Rome. So sorry for my spoken English. <laughs> uh, I like and I love really to compete in EDFA because uh, it's amazing. It's a fantastic experience for everyone who wants to compete and know others people that love bodybuilding, <laughs> natural bodybuilding. So follow IDFA Federation and uh, <laughs> I'd like to uh, meet everyone here. Bye bye. Hi everybody, my name is Scott Anderson and I'm competing here at IDFA Universe from Chris Pam Sist in Brunswick in Canada. Um, and my reason, my why for competing at IDFA Universe um, for me as an athlete and a coach and a trainer I really, really enjoy the process of it. Um, right from day one, when you make that decision to compete, to the day that you get on that stage, that process that happens is not an easy journey. You have to stay regimented, you have to stay disciplined. We can be motivated all we want, but it, the motivation comes up and down. It takes discipline every single day to make sure you're getting your workouts in, your food is on point, you're getting your water, you're managing your stress, you're getting the rest that you need, and you are doing the day-to-day check-ins, week-by-week check-ins to make sure you're seeing the progress you need, making those small tweaks if you need to, or keeping things consistent if things are working. So for me, it's that whole process leading up to comp competition day um, that I really enjoy. So ultimately, my why for competing at IDFA Universe is to challenge myself day-by-day, um, week-by-week to see what I am capable of so that when I step on that stage, I know I've done my best and I'm in my best possible condition. So as far as I'm concerned, all you athletes, you put the work in, as soon as you step on that stage, you've already won, you put the work in, put the time in to get in the best possible shape for you. So congratulations and enjoy competing, enjoy the day and enjoy the food that is coming. Good luck everybody. Hello, my name is William McCarthy. I'm from Lancaster, Massachusetts. I'm competing in the Masters Physique 50 Plus, Masters Physique 40 Plus, and the Transformation Challenge. I've been a personal trainer part-time for the past 27 years and recently lost 72 pounds. Now, being a personal trainer does not mean you have all the answers for fitness or weight loss. Like the saying goes, even a psychiatrist needs a psychiatrist. As I got older, I had more responsibilities and my fitness took a hit. 
It got worse with the pandemic and last January, I just had enough. I was trying all my tricks and ideas for losing weight that I've used over the years, but just couldn't get over that hump. I'd gotten up to 257 pounds, my blood pressure, my blood sugar, and my sports injuries of my youth were becoming increasingly problematic. For many years, I was caring for a family member and less time caring for myself. Now was the time for me to make myself the priority. So I found a diet program to help me get as much weight off as I could. It worked and helped me learn to care for myself. While the diet was effective, it along with everyday life, it was a challenge. I have sayings posted at work for positive reinforcement. One that always stands out and is reinforced with this weight loss is from The Rock. It goes, I've learned over the years that when it comes to success, consistency is key. Consistent hard work that we may not like doing today, but for a payoff we'll love tomorrow. Earn it. Enjoy it. So to all my fellow competitors, good luck and enjoy this moment. You have earned it. Thank you. Hi there, I'm Xiaomeng Tao. I'm competing at the IDFA Universe because I want to challenge myself and be open to the idea for my fitness journey. Thank you.